Once upon a time, in a small village of Ezago in Ochala Kingdom, there lived the four loving sisters. Three of them were married, but Udoka, the elder sister, still remained unmarried, despite all the efforts she put together by applying makeup on her face and also dressing well, even with her hard work. But still, no man in the community wants to look at her because to them she is very ugly. Udoka's parents will wonder why their eldest daughter haven't found love, yet alone married, just like their other children, not knowing their spiritual husband always visit her at night to make love to her. Udoka, on the other hand, always sees it as a mere dream when she wakes up every morning. She thought it was just a dream, not knowing it was a physical act done by a spiritual husband. Twelve years ago, Udoka and her three sisters, Ijoma, Uchechi, and Chidalu, when they were still together in their parents' house, their mother would send them on an errand to fetch firewood. But Udoka, their elder sister, loved swimming a lot, and she always liked going to the stream. After fetching the firewood, Udoka would tell her three siblings to swim with her in the river before going home with the firewood. They will all play in the river and have fun before going home with the firewood their mother sent them. Not knowing that there is a spirit man in the river who likes watching people whenever they come to swim. He loves seeing humans and wants to have children with them. Only when there is calmness in the river and the environs is quiet, no much people inside the river, that is when he can gain access to the human bodies. One day, Udoka told her sisters to accompany her to go and pluck some udara close to the riverside. But the sisters refused and told her it was getting dark and that even if they followed her, she would want to swim because she loved swimming a lot. One of the other sisters, Chidalu the last born, told her to pluck the ones around the compound instead of going to the riverside. But she said no. Their mother even told her that it's already 7 p.m. and it's getting dark. She won't see anybody around the riverside. She will be lonely there, which seems like a bad idea for her not to go. But instead, she insisted she wants to go in order to plug it, which is the sweetest one, and sell in the market the next morning, other than the one in the compound that tastes bitter, of which the customer will not buy. She was doing that in order to support her family as the first daughter since their mother didn't give birth to a son. Her parents and siblings pleaded with her not to go that it's getting dark. Before she gets there, it will be dark. She should leave it till tomorrow morning. But she said no, that if she did not go now, people would plug it before morning time. Immediately she left. On getting to the riverside, Nobody was there. Instead of being afraid, she was courageous enough and was plugging the Udara from the tree. The spirit man from a distance was watching her and was happy he has found someone. Udoka, on the other hand, didn't notice the spirit man because she can't see spirits. She kept the Udara close to the tree after she has finished plugging it. Then she decided to swim a little before going home. Immediately she jumped inside the water to swim. The spirit man entered inside her body and possessed her and also made love to her inside the water. Udoka on the other hand didn't know what happened to her. Immediately she regained consciousness and found herself at the edge of the river. She packed her udara and went home. Meanwhile, her mother was worried about her. Soon after, Udoka came home and the mother told her not to stay long outside the next time. This continued even after she stopped going to the riverside frequently. The spirit man would come at every night to sleep with her. She thought it was a dream, not knowing it was happening physically for 12 whole years, and has given birth to 12 children in spiritual realm from the spirit husband. Each time she is pregnant for the spirit husband, it will manifest that she looks pregnant physically. People started thinking she was pregnant. The mother would take her 
to the health center for tests but confirmed that she has fibroid. After 9 months, the stomach will lessen and become normal because she has given birth in the spiritual realm. This happened for 12 years and then her parents decided to seek for solution. They went to different places but to no avail. So they decided to see a man of God. Immediately the man of God saw her. He shouted blood of Jesus. He saw a spiritual mark covering her face that made all the men not to look at her or even marry her. Because the spirit's husband has encovered her and for the past 12 years she has given birth to 12 children in the spiritual realm. This made her parents weep bitterly after hearing what the man of God said to them. The man of God then told her to go on the 40 days fasting and prayers and stay in the temple while fasting. Immediately she started the fasting. Every night, the spirit husband would look for her in order to sleep with her, but instead, her prayer was breaking every barrier of spell in her body. The spirit husband then came to the temple, but cannot enter the temple because it was too holy. Immediately, he disappeared and never came back to her life again because the chain, the marks, has been broken. She then regained herself after the 40 days fasting. Few days later, men from different communities were now asking for a hand in marriage. And then, finally, she got married and have her own children. And the moral of this story is that sometimes, when your parents talk to you, obey them. Even the siblings too, they were telling her not to go to the river, but she insisted that she wanted to go, not knowing what will happen to her. And so the, the moral of this lesson is for you to obey your parents. I know she's the older sister of the of her siblings, but she she still disobeyed them too. Sometimes you listen to your younger ones, pay attention to what they are saying. You know what they are saying. Not every time you do as if you are the elder sister, you don't want to put your head down. And so thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Please share. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell button. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless you.